It all changes today, baby. It all changes today. No more laughing at me, Ola. No more laughing at me. None of that anymore. Every time we've gone to build a car, we have made a fool out of ourselves. And that ends today. Because today, we build ourselves a Lamborghini. A Lamborghini. A Lamborghini. A Lamborghini. A Lamborghini. A Lamborghini, baby. Booyah. Hello everybody, Mr. Miola here, back playing Scrap Mechanic again today. Now today we're going to be building a pretty frequent request of you guys. You guys have been requesting for me to create a bit of like a sports car type of thing. Sports car, race car, like a, I'm picturing like a Lamborghini type of thing. So um, I kind of want to see if I can do that. I want to put my skills to the test and, and see if we can actually achieve that. I don't know if we can. We probably can't because, I mean, I'm a pretty measly builder, let's be honest. But um, I, I want to give it a shot. I want to see if we can build something really cool looking. Um, so, yeah, guys, thank you so much for the ongoing support with the last, well, pretty much the last 10 or 11, however many scrap mechanic videos I've made so far because you guys have been really supportive with them, uh, with, like, commenting on them, liking with them, just giving feedback on them. So thank you so much, guys. You guys are incredible. And if you want to continue support, go ahead and punch that like button. Make it rain them thumbs ups. Um, but yeah, let's do this. So we're going to start this like every other build. And that is, of course, with this little bad boy right here. Our little lift, friend. Um, now, what blocks? We're going to work out what sort of blocks we're going to be using. We're, of course, going to be using the little bearing. We're probably going to be using little wheels for this one here, aren't we? Little wheels seem, I guess, like more of a fit for a sportier car. Um, and if we're going for like a Lamborghini, I think we're going to have to stick to, I guess, the old like yellow type of colors. Because, I mean, they are the Lamborghini colors after all. So we're going to be going with some of these staircase blocks. I'll probably go and maybe use some staircase steps as well. Um, what else can we use? I guess we can use some of this stuff here. Some of these yellow beams. Uh, but I'm not entirely sure where we're going to fit those into the mix just yet. Of course, we're going to use an engine. And, uh, you know what? We might leave it at just about that for now. Okay. So, let's go for a bit of a basis. Of course, the driver's seat is going to be roughly... How many blocks wide is the driver's seat? The question is, do we need ourselves a passenger seat? Do we need a passenger seat? Or not? I don't know. That's actually... Hmm. Maybe we'll just use the one seat. And we'll go a little bit wider. We'll come it out to here. We'll bring it out to here. And two extra on this side. And maybe that'll be like the width of our vehicle. Obviously, it might be a little bit longer than that. But I quite like that as like a, as a rough size. Um, we're probably going to be coming up and around here. And the wheel... The wheel's probably going to have to sit inside of uh, this little section here sort of thing so if we can sort of i don't know this is just like a rough little outline for now so don't get too like hung up on uh this is how it's gonna look because i can guarantee this ain't at all how it's gonna look oopsie let's go and break that um okay so maybe this is a little bit too wide no i guess i guess that's actually not too bad i guess that's actually not too bad Let's go and just drag. Okay, let's drag that out there, like so. And then I'm going to go and throw that there and the opposite wheel. Now, I'm aware that these can't turn, but I'm just trying to get everything where I think that it's going to end up in the long run. All right, so small wheel there. Small wheel here. How is this for a rough shape? Are we even even? I don't think we're even. I think we've got three blocks on this side and two on this side. God, count. One, two, one, two, three. Ah, that ain't good. Ah. Do we add one or take one? That's the question. Let's add one. So as for a size, I think we're looking pretty good. Now it's time to work out where to begin. So functionality. This thing is going to need speed. This thing is also going to need... Hmm. It's going to need turning wheels at the front here. So how should we accomplish that on this vehicle? Perhaps what we need to do is something like this. Uh, where is our little... This one right here. Something like that. And then bearing. And then one like this. Bearing. And wheel. I mean, that could work. Does that let it turn though? I guess I guess we should probably check that out. So connect these two up. And can we... We can't turn it because it's on the thing here. Alright, let's go and drop that. 
It doesn't really have a lot of room to turn, does it? No, it doesn't. Okay. Perhaps what we got to do is break that. I took an idea. No. It gives it a little bit more freedom moving forward. But the problem is you need like a whole like that amount just to give it like a little bit of room to breathe. Um, hmm. I've gone to put this stuff on the floor just because our car kept rolling away and it was getting a bit annoying. So, both of these turn. They actually turn the wrong way. We've got to switch these up a little bit. Okay, so we turn right. They go right. We go left. They go left. Okay, so why are we? Why do we roll when that happens? We're about to fall off, but okay. Maybe that's... Oh, I think it's clashing with this block. Okay, so we're going to lift this up. Put it over here so it's not touching nothing. And okay, turning is good turning functionality is intact which is fantastic okay so now pretty much as far as functionality goes that's all you really need it can turn all you've got like really need apart from that is it to be able to move so um i guess we should start working on what this thing actually looks like now lamborghinis look very very awesome very sleek very i don't know they look very cool all right, so here's what I'm sort of going with so far. We're going to go and remove this lift. There we go. Okay, so as we go, we're going to have to test out to see if we can actually turn these wheels as we go. Like right there, that wheel is clashing with that block. So that's not really going to work like that. Why is that block there? Okay. Huh. How can we like work around that? This is how it's going to be. It's going to be a lot of playing around like this. If we go like that... So we still have the same issue. It, we don't. Okay, okay. So, we've already gone and dodged that one there. That's pretty cool. If we go and place this in here. Do we dodge it as well? Yes, it doesn't hit. Okay, so. See, right now we've already sort of got a rough indication of what we can play with, I guess. What sort of... I guess areas we can sort of afford to play with so we got to work out exactly where we can fit around this wheel arc so let's go um hmm maybe up a little further i guess we can almost come straight back from this point here without hitting the wheel and then we can go and sort of arc over it yeah i don't know if that's touching but that's going to be like super super close and it also doesn't really look good when it comes to, like, this sort of block right here. That just doesn't... It doesn't look right. It doesn't look right. Okay, so this is sort of what I've come up with so far. I'm not entirely happy with it. I don't, I don't know if we're going to stick with this sort of look, but it works. We can go and, like, turn the wheel, and it doesn't collide with any of the existing vehicle. So that's pretty cool for now. I'm not 100% sold on it yet, though. I think we can uh, we can still make some alterations that make it look a little bit better, I think. Uh, but I'm going to keep on playing with this. Currently, I've sort of been trying to look at the front of the vehicle. Now, the front of the vehicle is actually quite difficult just because, I guess, Lamborghinis have sort of got like a long sort of... It's, it's a slopey type of front of the vehicle. So what we can actually sort of do is maybe attach something to a bearing and then that sort of sits on an angle. I don't know, but what I'm going to do for now is I'm going to re replicate this, what I've done over here on the other side, just so we've kind of got like an even balance to sort of work with. But yeah, I'll catch up with you guys in a moment. All right, so this is what we're looking at at the moment. We've gone and replicated this onto this side. I think it's pretty close, apart from that piece there, which is still just temporary. I kind of just put that there. Uh, while we sort of played with things. But as you can see, turning circle is good. Uh, no issues there. No issues whatsoever. So that's really cool. Um, I guess we've got to work out how we're going to do this bonnet now. How are we going to do this front end of the vehicle? It's a tough one. What I was sort of thinking was... What if we were to go... We probably have to start at like one block higher. Or like this... Um, I don't even know how we'll do this. Let's just put a bearing there for now, okay? Let's put a bearing there for now. So here's what I have in mind. Let's just go and use... We use like a drag out block. We use one of these ones here, just for the hell of it. 
And we're going to drag it out like so. Sort of like, <laughs> that's pretty well what I had in mind. How it like dips down over the vehicle. And it gives that sort of slopey type of look. Um, perhaps if we go and pull that off. And maybe that one as well. Perhaps that might look a little bit normal. It's obviously a little bit too high at the moment as well. Although, that's not all that bad. Like, if we built this out of the right color, this could be a pretty good idea. Okay. I want to go and test this out. I want to go and test this out. So, I'm going to disconnect that and see how that falls. It's interesting, to say the least. It'd be something like... It'd be almost something like that. I wonder if I attached that one lock blower up there, if it'd make a little bit of a difference. I'm going to go and do that. So this takes a while to build, as you could imagine. So I'm going to try and do this one block lower and see if it makes any difference. Okay, so if we were to go and lower it a block, I'll show you exactly what's going to happen. That's how it'll look. Let's go and drop the other one just for comparison purposes. So as you can see... This one here is a lot lower. I guess if we go and place that, you can sort of see the rough idea that I'm going for. This one here sits a lot higher, but I actually, I don't know. I don't know. It's unfortunate that we've got, I think it's that block that it's clashing with. Is it that one? Yeah, sort of. But we kind of need that there, otherwise, Otherwise, yeah, the, 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 the tire can't turn properly. You know what? I think we're going to go with this tall one. Even though it does look a little bit weird, I think we can get it to work. If we go and, like, bump up this part and then replace this block. It's a shame you can't just replace a block. We're going to have to break that and replace that whole bearing section. Um, but I think we're going to stick with this one here. And maybe we can also utilize some of these here as well. I don't know. But I'm going to have a play with it and I'll see what I come up with. Okay, so this is sort of what I've got going at the moment. We've still got both sides up, the two different heights, but I'll show you exactly what's going on. We'll drop that one in there, and that one down as well. And, oh, actually, there's one more thing I wanted to add. <laughs> it gets a bit weird, I'm not going to lie. Um, okay, so let's go and place that there. And I think that was all we had to do. Drop that in, drop that in. Why is that wheel connected? Okay, so... As you can see, this is sort of what we got going at the moment. I actually really like it. I think we got like right on the right track, but I actually like this different height. I like how we got two different levels here. Um, problem is that we can't really take this one here out because it's connected up with all of that. So it gets a little bit funky up there. Here's the deal. I think I'm going to have to remove all of this and do it again. But I'm going to try and have that going underneath it, if that makes sense. Unless we can sort of... Can we do this? I doubt we can do this underneath. Yeah, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I'm going to tear this all apart. And I'll be bit with you guys in a second once it is done. Okay, so... This is sort of what we got going at the moment. It sort of started to look Lamborghini-ish. I don't know. To me, it looks like a bit of just a cluster. Cluster of madness, to be honest. Um, But as you can see, we've gone and got like a, a few different levels going. It's looking kind of weird, kind of cool, kind of all the rest of it. Um, We can actually get rid of that right now. We're not using that. Let me go and see what it looks like once we put a driver's seat into this thing. I've been working on this for probably the last... Let me have a look. 50 minutes? I've been working on this for the last 50 minutes. I could... Yeah, you know what? This is look, not, not, not looking too bad. This isn't looking too bad. It'd be cool if we could, like, get this little display area looking a little more... A little more friendly. How are we going to do that? I'm not too sure. I guess we could go and get some, like, bars and stuff. What I'm actually curious about is if we go and pick this up and put it down. So that's how it looks. And if we drop it... It falls that it actually falls the wrong way because of this big beam here. 
So that might be a bit of a problem. What if we go and put the beam just directly on this bottom part here? It's not quite the same. <laughs> We've got this weird like gap looking thing in there. But like it doesn't look terrible. It just, I don't know. I don't know if that sits right or not. We probably got to change that up a little bit. I'll find a way to do it. I'll find a way to make it look good. But yeah, this is what we're working with at the moment. Um, this is going to be the driver's seat. You're going to be sitting in here driving your Lamborghini. And yeah, so the bonnet's looking pretty well done. I think the next steps would probably be working out what we're going to do about filling this in. Are we going to fill it in? Are we going to give it like a bit of a nose scoop? Are we going to give it like something cool out the front? We've already got this little bit in here that I think looks really nice. Um, yeah, I don't know. There's a lot of different things we can do with it. I think. You can sort of... I don't know. Do some, something weird like that. <laughs> but it might be getting a little bit too complicated if we go start doing weird stuff. You know what I mean? We could go like sideways. That actually gets like a weird shadow, but... Yeah, it's probably not. Yeah, probably not. Probably not. We probably won't do any of that. Um, but yeah, I'm going to keep on working at it. I think right now I'm going to start working on the the sides of it. We'll start working on the side of it. And uh, I guess I'll catch up with you once I've got something a little closer to a working product. I'll see you then. Six and a half hours later. Okay, so I've been working on the side of the car here. And I'm quite happy... With what we've got, in fact, I think we're missing a little block here. What happened there? Oh, no. Where did that? I swear something's supposed to be down there. Anyway, anyway, check it out, right? So, it might not look like much right now, but have a look at this. When we go and flick this switch, it's not connect. Oh, man. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Oh, oops. No. Connect that to that. There we go. We've got it installed. Fully functioning. Lamborghini doors. I'm so happy with this. I uh, actually spent quite a while trying to get this to work. But it works really well. So we've got to do it on the other side now. And uh, it was actually really simple to do. So it's not even going to be overly difficult to do again. Which is really, really awesome. So I'll show you guys how to do it just in case you want to do it for yourselves. Uh, let me just go and build this little bottom bit in here. Okay, so it's very simple. All we need to do is place one little bearing there. We're going to go and place uh, whatever block you want to choose. But I just used metal for this part here. So three blocks of metal. We're going to place another bearing there. Two more blocks of metal. And these are going to be connected like so. And then just one more bearing there. And then it's basically just going to be your door. So the door we're going to build out of this block here. And it's going to stuff up pretty quickly. We need to go get a controller out. So we're going to start working out where we're going to start putting our controllers. Um... Let's try and tuck them in down here. Let's try and... Can we can we, can we we fit them in there? Come on. Just let me... There we go. Okay, cool. So, these are the controllers that are going to control the doors. All we're going to go is connect the first one, the second one, and the third one. We're going to make sure all the blue ones are spinning in the direction... Okay. Okay, then. <laughs> we're going to make sure all the blue ones are spinning in the direction we want them to. So, this is going to go... Actually, that's going to say where it is. This one is going to go that way. And this one is going to go like that. Okay, so now we just got to decide how we want to do it. So the way I've gone and done it, I've gone 90 degrees on the first two. And then the third one, I've gone a little bit delayed. And that's also going to go... I mean, that can go really whatever you want it to go. But um, I'm just going to go with the old 90 degrees, I suppose. So now you got to choose where you're going to put your switch. So I've gone to put the switch on top of the door. Just because uh, it can be accessible from inside and outside the car. So, we're going to go connect that to the controller. And now, all we got to do is press it. No, maybe not. <laughs> we press it. And it should work like so. Except this one here went to 75 degrees. Which, I don't know if that looks better or what. Um, have a look. Maybe, yeah, maybe the 90 degrees doesn't need to happen. Maybe 60 degrees even. I reckon that looks really cool like that. Because, like, Lamborghini doors don't really open up 90 degrees. They go most of the way, but not the entire way. So, let's go and make that 60 degrees. And then what we actually got to do is we're going to disconnect this one here entirely. 
Probably should have closed it first. And we're going to uh, connect it up to our new controller down here. There we go. Nope, that didn't actually work. Okay. First one, second one, third one. There we go. All right, that got really buggy, but we got there eventually. So that's going to turn that way. That's going to turn that way. And that's going to turn that way. Beautiful. And now we're just going to readjust all of our bearings. So 90, 90, and 60, I think we decided. And uh, it should be as simple as that. That's connected to the wrong controller. Of course it is. Disconnect that. Connect it to that one. And there we go. Beautiful. Okay, so we have gone and installed ourselves some Lamborghini doors. That is freaking awesome. A few inches later. Hallelujah! Woo! All right, guys. All right, all right. I have a final product to show you guys. A final product! I might just add, I haven't actually test driven this thing, so I have no idea how it drives. But... This build was mainly about how it looks. We were trying to go for a Lamborghini look, and I think we've done just that. So without further ado, guys, are you ready? Do you want to see it? Do you want to see the Lamborghini? You better go and slap that like button. Slap it right now as hard as you can. Because once you see this Lamborghini, you're going to be that excited and that freaked out that you just, yeah, you're going to forget. So here we go. Three, two, one. How do I turn around? Boom. There it is. There it is. This is our Lamborghini. What do you think? What do you think? I'm going to throw a little picture up on the side of what I was going for. We ended up going for a convertible because we ain't got time for this roof business. In fact, there's no like real good blocks to build a roof out of. But yeah, this is our final product, guys. Um, as for how it looks, I think it looks pretty cool. I'm really happy with it. I've never really... Well, yeah, it was pretty minimalistic when you think about it. We really built it out of literally just two blocks. Those blocks and the, the like corner type of blocks. And um, obviously, apart from all the stuff that actually makes it work and stuff. But yeah, this is it. Let me give you like a little 360 tour. There's the little frog face. <laughs> he looks like a little smiley face. Hey, you doing there, Lambo? Oh, what a little goofy face. But uh, yeah, this is it. This is it in all of its glory. So I guess I should show you how this thing actually works. Let's do it. So we want to get inside. Well, we're not going to just jump into the driver's seat. No, we're going to go and open up our super special Lambo doors. That's right. We're going to jump inside. We're going to shut it. And we're going to open the other one apparently as well. So yeah, we've got three buttons connected to this thing. Um, one and two are basically there to open up the doors and shut them again, which is really, really awesome. Um, three... Is to go ahead and open the bonnet now the reason we got this here is so we can go and edit and uh modify our gas engine so we can go and change up whatever we want to do there so i thought that this was a really cool like little hidey spot for it we can like hide the engine in our bonnet i think sports cars do that don't they a lot of sports cars have engines in the bonnets i don't really know to be honest but um yeah you probably just saw the connect tool there's quite a bit of a mess and that's pretty much most of that is just the doors it's actually a really simple vehicle um, I went and also connected up these uh, these thrusters. That These were kind of like a last minute addition. I finished the whole back and then I was kind of like, it's not like supercar enough. It's not like ultra super fast car enough. So let's go and throw some thrusters on there. So uh, yeah, I should probably connect those up to the driver's seat as well. Let's go and shut the bonnet. And uh, I guess, yeah, let's take this thing for a test drive. It turns, which is nice. This is really the first time I've test driven it. So... Here we go. It's not so bad. Okay, it's really bad. <laughs> Maybe I gotta... All right, I think I gotta... Uh, I think I just gotta, like, loosen up the engine a little bit. I think we gotta just draw up this a tad. Give it a little less back-heavy power. Let's go and drop that. Okay. So, here we go. Not bad. It drives straight. Now, this thing's gonna be, like, terrible at climbing hills. So we kind of got to stick to the roads. And this thing drifts like a freaking mad thing. What is going on? But um, as far as just driving straight, not so bad. This could be a really nice uh, drag car. Definitely could be a really good drag car. Can we do a little 360? Maybe we can throw some more power on this thing. Let's go and test out these thrusters. Let's go, baby. Let's go. And thruster power. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> This isn't working. Why are we like dropping so many frames? Oh my god. We're at 15 frames a second at the moment. Woo! That is what I'm talking about. Alright, let's go and switch those off. 
This is cool. This is cool. I guess the next step is probably seeing how fast we can actually get this thing to go. So let's go and crank that up. We're going to go and crank our thrusters up. And let's do it. Let's do it. Shut our door. Shut the bonnet. <gasps> All right. Oh, my God. It just spins out. It just spins out. Literally. It just spins. Oh, my God. Okay. Well, now you got a drifter if, you, if that's what you're after. <gasps> oh, my God. All right. Thruster time. Oh, this isn't good. This isn't good. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yeah, baby. Woo! <laughs> We're stuck in a tree. Oh, man. No, we're not. He's taken off. No. Oh, snap. Yeah. Have you ever seen a self-driving car before? Well, now you have. Maybe not. I wonder what happens if we connect the engine to our front wheels. Let's go and try this one here out. Woo! Oh, my God. Oh, snap. Dude. Holy shit. This thing can fly. It can fly. Not really. Here we go. Here we go. Woo! Oh, snap. All right. Turns out we're a bit front heavy. Holy crap. Wow. I uh, wasn't prepared for that. I wasn't prepared for that. But I want to do it again. Here we go. Got the bonnet. And max power. Woo! Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Holy crap. Wow. This thing actually doesn't handle too bad. When you put the power in the front of it, you add the power to the front wheels. It's actually really nice. So this is really good. Let's go and throw the thrusters on it. There we go. There, oh my God. Yes. No. No. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. Rolls it. He rolls it. He rolls it. No. And we're in the ground. And we're in the ground. Well, guys, that is our Lamborghini. I really hope you like it. I don't know if this video gets enough likes and stuff. Maybe I'll like put up a download to it. If you guys want to drive it for yourself and cruise around in style in your brand new Lamborghini. Um, but yeah, guys, thank you so much. That is all for this video. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and punch this video with a thumbs up. Make it rain those thumbs ups. But most importantly, guys, have a fantastic day. And I will see you in another video tomorrow. Bye for now. This year is the Using the magic power of